Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and in this video I want to talk about NVIDIA's DSR, which actually it stands for Dynamic Super Resolution. So basically what this is doing here, um, NVIDIA is calling it 4K quality on a 1080p display, and I wanted to test it out. It's only available on the new uh, Maxwell architecture uh, GPUs, specifically the 900 series, so as of this recording, the 970 and the 980. And I have an ASUS uh, 980 Strix that I did an unboxing and quick review of earlier, and I wanted to uh, check out what this dynamic super resolution is. So what I've done is I've uh, continuing my testing here on this test bench. This is the uh, 8320 and then uh, running on a Gigabyte 990 FXA UD3. And you can see there there's a 620 watt power supply and then of course the GTX 980 Strix. Uh, i got 16 gigs of RAM and I'm running a 240 gigabyte PNY SSD with uh, all of the benchmarking and or games and stuff on there that I'm going to be testing out. So what NVIDIA DSR is going to do is it's going to sort of trick the software or the game into thinking that there is a high resolution panel, or um, in this case, a 4K resolution panel, when I actually only have a uh, 1080p. So the game is going to render each frame at 4K, and then inside the GPU it's going to downscale it to 1080p and then put it on the monitor. So in theory that should give a better um, picture and should eliminate some of the jaggies and stuff like that. So what you do is you go into the NVIDIA control panel and then you select at what levels you want to allow oversampling to. So in this case I've just done all of them and then you just click apply and it'll apply that to where now when um, games work through the driver they're going to see that or think that there is a much higher resolution panel. So I picked a few games that I wanted to test out and I'm going to test them out two ways. I'm going to run them first at 1080p and then run their internal benchmark utility and then I'm going to dial the settings up to 4K and at max details and then I just want to see the frame rate hit and or the uh, if I can tell that there is a visual improvement. The first game I'm going to do is Metro Last Light, very demanding game but uh, the 980 crushes it quite well. Here's my 1080p settings. So at 1080p it actually is running quite smooth. No frame rate dips or any kind of issues that I noticed. I actually uh, think this is a pretty intensive uh, demo here, especially later on. It's, it seems like it's uh, pretty graphically intense and uh, very hard on the system. So I think it's uh, definitely a good representation here and, and I would expect this one to get hit actually pretty hard when I switch over to 4K. But anyway, we'll uh, zip through it and see what my 1080p frame rate is. So as you can see here, the GTX 980 Strix actually does quite well on the Metro Last Light benchmark. And now let's move on to 4K and see how bad it gets hammered. And so for the 4K settings, essentially all I did was just change the resolution and I left uh, the texture filtering and quality and everything at the same, which you could argue that you could lower some of those to increase performance, but I just wanted to do as close to an apples to apples comparison, so I left all the detail levels the same. So the first thing that I notice is it's definitely not as smooth as the 1080p and that's, I mean obviously that's understood. You can see we definitely have a huge frame rate drop. Um, looks like already we're at half the frames that we were before, uh, which isn't bad for 4K, but at any rate, uh, I definitely, you know, it looks maybe a little prettier, but it's so choppy and I see some screen tearing and stuff with the uh, low frame rate. I think I would much rather play at 60 frames per second than uh, this higher detail level because to me the detail isn't nearly 
yeah, definitely not worth it, in, especially for this title here. It's such a demanding title anyway. And then to add to it, I think I would just go with the lower resolution. And I'm sure the benchmark is going to show that uh, the frame rate is just annihilated. Yeah, and we can see here that the average frame rate has just tanked down to 28 with that minimum at 7. So, I mean, we definitely saw some bouncing around there, yeah. So definitely, uh, I don't think this one is a good candidate for a single GPU at 4K. And now we'll move on to Tomb Raider. This is the 2013 Tomb Raider, if you can't tell. And as you can see here, this is my 1080p testing, and we'll go ahead and get into that. And then here are the settings that I'll be using for both 1080p and 4K. So we can see that the GTX 980 Strix handles this game quite well at 1080p. In fact, it's definitely overkill at 1080p. But at any rate, let's go ahead and get into the 4K. And again, I kept all of the settings the same and just changed the resolution. And now we'll go ahead and run the benchmark. So far, this one doesn't seem to be nearly as choppy. There's a little bit of screen tearing and stuff, but it's not nearly as bad as the Metro Last Light. Of course, this is a little bit older game, and it's not nearly as demanding, so I would expect this one to be handled a little better. But, uh, yeah, so this one looks good. I can't really tell. It might be a little sharper in some of the grass. Yeah, the grass to me looks a little sharper than it did in 1080p. Her hair looks about the same, but maybe some of the smooth lines um, do look a little better, which I guess that's to be expected. The smooth lines should get better running it at 4K. Let's see what it does to the frame rate. Yeah, I can see here that it did beat up the frame rate pretty bad, although it does seem a little smoother than Metro did again, but uh, boy, that's pretty demanding when you start getting to that kind of resolution. Now let's move on to the next game, Shadow of Mordor. In this game, I noticed that the resolution now, 1920 by 1080 is 50%, so that's pretty interesting. Um, so it's actually is tricking it really into thinking that uh, right now the game thinks that it's probably r supposed to be running at 4K and it's only running at uh, 1920 by 1080. So there is the settings for uh, the resolution and now I've got the graphical settings for the game itself. So we can see here that the 980 Strix uh, does very well in this benchmark, as to be expected. And this will be the real test though here at 4K, and again all of the other settings I am leaving the same. So so far I can tell it's uh, definitely more choppy yet again, but the, some of the edges and fine lines do look uh, a little bit cleaner to me, especially those ropes hanging over the top there. Those don't seem to be nearly as jaggy. But uh, yeah, definitely, again, we see some significant frame rate drops, unfortunately. Which, again, is confirmed in the benchmark results at 4K. Yep, so another one that gets hammered pretty bad. So anyway, to wrap up my thoughts on NVIDIA's DSR, I think it might be a little too early. We just don't have the graphical horsepower to run things at 4K, and I think a lot of uh, other channels have done some 4K benchmark testings, and it definitely uh, is repeated here. Even though we're downsampling to 1080p, it's still rendering at that 4K mark, so you have to expect that it's going to be treated as a 4K game. We're just not there yet. I think you get uh, two or three GPUs and SLI, and I suppose at that point it might be worth it. But then again, also, too, another $1,000 plus in graphics cards. 
uh, that's just kind of overkill. I think if I were going to do that, um, or for example, I guess if anybody were going to do that, you'd probably just go buy a 4K monitor as well too, instead of down sampling to 1080p. I, you know, especially if you were going to spend another thousand dollars on a graphics card, what's another thousand dollars on a monitor at that point? So I definitely don't think uh, that DSR is going to take off anytime soon with uh, the power that we have today maybe in the future um, but I also gonna think that in the future 4k displays are gonna go down so when we do have GPUs that run 4k very well people are just gonna have a 4k monitor so unfortunately today you know I just can't say that it's worth it um, I'm definitely personally not willing to give up the frames per second or the cache to enable this feature. So um, anyway, on some older games, however, that um, where you can get like 200 frames per second out of this graphics card, definitely um, it might be worth it. You know, like the uh, older Call of Duties or something, maybe something like that would benefit uh, and uh, from having the higher um, sampling and at least then you wouldn't kill your frame rate or if you did kill it you'd still be above that magical 60 frames per second so I suppose at that point then it definitely would be worth it but um, anyway that wraps up this video if you like it go ahead and give me the thumbs up and let me know that helps out a lot to uh, make sure that I know that you guys dig what I'm doing and as always thank you for watching